Today I came here to be a voodoo doll and to be a part of the New Orleans voodoo. I've been working hard. I've been practicing every day, but I, I came in ready today. Since September, I found out the voodoo was coming back, and first instinct, I was like, I want to go out for the voodoo team. So ever since then, I've been working hard for it. The voodoo dolls are a staple in arena football. When the uh, voodoo came into the AFL, I think people around the nation didn't realize what we had to offer. And very quickly, the voodoo dolls became a, if not the, premier dance team in the arena football league. When the voodoo came back, the first thing we decided was we were bringing that wonderful dance team back in, in full, full gear. It was a two-week audition process where we had an open call where girls can come out. For that open day, we had about 50 girls show up. Just, you know, good luck. Make sure you just do your thing. I mean, this is the last chance we're going to see. This is it. This is it. So it's all about today. Have fun. Um, you can't change anything in the past, but it all can kind of start over today. I was here for the preliminaries. I don't see how we're going to get down to 18. I don't know who we would not include. They are spectacular dancers and beautiful young women. It was important for us to have them dance in front of a live crowd because that's, you know, in, in AFL, the girls are on the center of the field. And imagine a, a basketball-sized court, but football. I mean, the fans are literally in the action, so we want to make sure the girls can respond well to the fans. The only thing I remember at that last minute was as soon as I turned around, my shoelace popped. So I had to dance with my shoelace popped the whole time. It felt like a really long time that we were waiting to actually do the dance, and then once we got out there and did everything, it just felt like such a relief that it was over. We had to pick the best out of the best um, that we saw, and the girls that had the total package as far as appearance, um, physical appearance, just personality. It was tough. You know, I could have had a, every girl be a booty doll, but we couldn't have 27, and, and we thought we were going to pick 18. We ended up picking 20. How much time do we have back here? Um, we have whatever we need. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, mean, I figured you guys. I mean, there's probably about five of them that are would be in the right shape. There's a certain extent to what I can do, though. You know what I'm saying? Like some girls, we can get into shape. She is a stone. She's my favorite. Yeah. She is a stone cold. Yeah. I think she's a doll, but I'm gonna tell you what. She's got to get yeah. some tan. Yeah. Because she's gonna stand out like a in a bad way. I want you to smile at me. Right. You know, that's all I look for. I'm like, right. you know, now you know one thing. You know. They love them what they're doing. If they hate it, then you can't tell because the smile just takes everything. We have four blondes. We've got two dark hair. We've got um, one redhead. We have sh four short brunettes, and we have three. I mean, three short brunettes and three long-haired brunettes. If I had to pick, I would pick her. And um, her and her. All right, so this is this is it. This is the 20. Are we all comfortable? Are we all good? Okay, great. Okay. All right, let's go make magic happen. Let's break some hearts and change some lives. <laughs> it felt like eternity. I had to wait. I was sitting back there, and when my friend's number got called, I was super excited, but I was getting very nervous. Number 20, Amanda. Oh! Number 6, Ashley. Oh, Naya. It happened so fast. But I'm a voodoo doll. Now I am a 2011 voodoo doll. I'm now a voodoo doll. <laughs> 2011 team. I can't stop smiling. My face hurts. You feel glamorous when they're taking the pictures of you and the wind's blowing in your hair and you're, you're doing different poses and it's, it's just an amazing feeling. I'm ready to see what new challenges and new opportunities I get to go into with being on a, the Voodoo team. Being a 2011 official Voodoo doll I think is a great opportunity. It's gonna open a lot of, a lot of doors for me. This has been a dream since I've been dancing in college and I just knew I wanted to do something a little bit bigger than just a regular old dance team and now I'm a part of something bigger than that and I feel like I've accomplished something.